Good morning, crypto family. Hey, listen, listen. Doge Lamars in the community, the devs, they say they're going to start burning. Another thing, before I even get into everything, let's go ahead and get to this uh, Ether scan. As you guys see, we're up holders. So we're at 149,411 holders just on Ether scan. Just on Ether scan. Now, as you guys see, I'm scrolling down. I've been scrolling. And then all of a sudden, I see Shiba Inu, Uniswap V3, Elon, Shib. Okay, about $2 million in there. Now, check this out. Shiba Inu and Dojelon came out the same year, right? But with all these pairs that has been added, on the either scan of Dogelon, I'm tired of hearing people saying, bro, like, like I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, secondly, market supply. What's going on with that? <laughs> Everything is in due time. It doesn't matter. It does matter how much tokens we have. I'm not saying, okay, with all those tokens, we're just going to shoot up dr drastically high. See, the devs already know that. The devs know. The dev, don't you think the devs want us to become wealthy? You got to think about it. Doge Lamar has been on for about four years. It's in everybody's faces and in everybody's mouths. They've been on Forbes. They've been on CNN. And you're telling me that the devs don't know what they're doing. They've been working in the background for a while. For a while. So this is why I say... We'll be able to eat these three zeros and set at the high four thousands. So, Say, hey, look, look, I've been I've been saying this to you guys for a while now. I've been saying it. So let's go over here right quick. Gecko terminal. Before, don't you guys leave because I got a major, not a major announcement, but something about Dogelon and the burning and the later, you know, later on. Hold up. So we're sitting at 35, 31, up eight percent. People has been buying, and as you guys see in the twenty four hour mark. Buys 359 sales, 142 market cap is around 193.5 million dollars. The market is in still in extreme greed. Extreme greed. Now, Shatoshi Kasama, shout out to everybody who has sent me this. But check this out: voted most influential top 50 in crypto alongside the number one community in the world sheep army right but you see how much people he's following obviously he's from hong kong hopefully hopefully he is all right and you guys see you know of course he's following sheep army and you know people who you know associated with sheba inu but if you scroll down and if others scroll down and they're so hyped on Shiba Inu, while my while my boy Doge Lamar is up on up, you get what I'm saying? They know it's going to be a major push, man. Don't why you, you don't think Shatoshi Kusama ain't holding Doge Lamar, huh? We'll leave that to another subject, right? We'll leave that to another subject. But this is what you guys want to hear and want to see. This is the implementation of token burning mechanism for Doge on Mars. 420.69 trillion supply. All right. That's the supply that they're trying to get down to. As you guys see, we're at 549 trillion tokens. So we're at six zeros. We were already at four zeros on crypto.com. Listen. We were at four zeros on crypto.com, high 3,000. That was an all-time high. All-time high on any other exchanges was five zeros sitting at 2,300. At the high 2,300s, five zeros. So with them just burning and, and putting that 420 trillion tokens and the implementation will be going on after that, oh, it's going to be crazy. Now check this out. Introduction, Doge on Mars is a cryptocurrency that has gained significant traction in the digital asset market to enhance its value proposition and address concerns related to token scarcity and price stability. We propose the implementation of a token burning mechanism 
This mechanism involves an initial burn of 23.58% of the total Dogelon Mars tokens, followed by ongoing burns through the Dogelon Mars blockchain Rufus via transactional mechanism. Again, don't forget, Dogelon Mars will be used as gas feeds. This amount of burning will send the total supply to 420.69 trillion tokens, okay? Now, the initial burn to initiate the process of 23.58% of the total Dogelon Mars tokens will be permanently removed from the circulation. This action will effectively reduce the overall token supply, thereby increasing the scarcity of Dogelon Mars tokens. By reducing this token supply, we aim to create a more favorable supply demand dynamic, potentially leading to an increase in the token's value. They already know what's up. They know it's going to it's going to run up. Ongoing token burns through Rufus. Following the initial burn, the Dogeon on Mars blockchain will implement an automated token burning mechanism through its protocol named Rufus. Rufus will be designed to burn Dogeon. All right. Mars tokens with every transaction executed on the network. A percentage of each transaction fee will be allocated towards burning Dogeon on Mars tokens, thereby continuously reducing the circulating supply over time. Now, as you guys see with the impact and scarcity, number one, price appreciation. By reducing the supply of Dogeon on Mars tokens through both initial and ongoing burns, we anticipate an increase in the tokens value. With a reduced supply and sustained demand, the scarcity of Dogelon Mars tokens will drive up their price. And listen, I see somebody talking about you're not a financial advisor. I never said I was, but I am telling you this. I'm diving in. I dove in. You may be scared to dive in, but I dove in. I am an OG holder. I've been holding. I don't give a damn what anybody say. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people talk crap about Dogelon. Dogelon and the devs know what time it is, all right? Number two, scarcity enhancement. Token burning effectively increases the scarcity of Doge Lamar's tokens in the market as the supply diminishes. The remaining tokens become re relatively more valuable, making them more attractive to investors and traders. Okay, then. So as you guys see here, enhance token visibility and fame. Mark one, market attention. The implementation of a token burning mechanism will attract attention from cryptocurrency enthusiasts and investors. Token burning initiatives often generate buzz within the crypto community, leading to increased visibility for Dogelon Mars. Two, community engagement. Token burning can also serve as a catalyst for community engagement by demonstrating a commitment to reducing token supply and enhancing value. Doge on Mars will likely garner support from its community members, leading to increased adoption and awareness. Don't you guys know that a lot of people left Doge on Mars community in 2022 because we did not burn any tokens? It wasn't our time yet. It wasn't our time yet. You see, the devs are smart. And, that, and, and, and I salute to the devs because why... Why are you going to have people? I mean, of course, people want to make money. You know, people want to make money in this crypto space. But at the end of the day, they don't know how to make money. And then, and for the ones that do say that they know how to make money, have you run a crypto asset? How Are you, you know, planning? Are you building the infrastructure? Do you know how much time is needed to get everything done? Because a lot of these other, you know, uh, people who make these cryptocurrencies, it's early in the morning, family, so I can't get that, you know, thought in my head. But when they implement something, they're like, okay, the whole team has to work on, okay, well, how are we going to do this? You know, once we get to this levels, you know, we got to put money in this. Oh, we needed another dev to do this, this, this. It's a lot of work, a lot of time. Everything's on the time frame. So with Doge on Mars at this time in 2024, and it's itching. They're like, yeah, you know, it's about that time. We completed the other processes. We need to 
focus on burning. Let's get this infrastructure right and moving correctly. That's one thing about Dogelon. When, when they make a move, they execute. They execute. Number three, media coverage. The introduction of a token burning mechanism can attract media coverage, further amplifying Doge Lamar's visibility and fame within the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem. Media outlets often highlight innovative strategies such as token burning, drawing attention to the project and its potential. So you guys are going to see a mass, a mass of investors coming into the crypto space and wanting a bite of Dogelon Mars. So as you guys see the conclusion, in conclusion, the implementation of a token burning mechanism for Dogelon Mars represents a strategic move to address concerns related to token scarcity price stability, and overall market visibility. By burning a portion of the to total token supply initially and instituting ongoing burns through the Rufus Protocol, Doge on Mars aims to enhance the value proposition of its cryptocurrency while it's increasing its visibility and fame within the crypto community. This proposal sets the stage for Doge on Mars to emerge as a prominent player in the digital asset landscape driving sustained growth and investors' interest in the market. Hey, look, I'm going to have to, let's go. What is it? I ain't going to make a comment to that, but yeah. Yeah, we up. I don't, listen, blur out all the, the negative stuff that you hear about Doge Long. Everybody talk bad about Jesus. And I'm not saying those on Mars is Jesus. Understand that. But at the end of the day, you can't listen to what other people say. You have to do your own research and how you feel about the project. Because I'm telling you right now, there's people out there that's holding. They're like, okay, well, you know, these type of tokens, as long as you're putting your money in and you're not really worried about, you know, if it goes up, goes down, you're just leaving it there. Those are the ones who become wealthy. And I ain't going to lie to you, you know, I can't just talk to anybody about crypto because it's like, you know, you get that feeling as they're sort of listening, but it's going through one ear out the other and their attention span is very low. So they would rather pay their attention to something else than hear you out. If you're trying to give them game, like, hey, do you remember Da Vinci Jeremy was telling people to buy Bitcoin? Oh, no, I never heard of that. No. Um, yeah, but, you know, I still don't. All right, it's not for you. And that's sad to say for a person, to, you know, who wants everybody to go up. But, you know, some, I guess it's not their time. It's not their time to understand. And it won't be their time right now because they are going to miss out on this greatest opportunity. I'm going to keep on preaching this because a lot of people think I'm just blowing, you know, blowing smoke. I don't blow smoke. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to blow smoke, it's going to be smoke around places. You know, but um, yeah, I'm on it. I will disappear. Most of you guys may disappear as well because uh, once y'all once y'all see our portfolios, there may be a lot of people who hold more than billions of Dogelon. Even if you hold millions of Dogelon with us just going to if we, if you only had a half a billion tokens, multiply that by three zeros four, and you'll see that. But um, think about it. Look how much you invested into Dogelon for a half a billion tokens. You get what I'm coming from. So just think about it. So I'll be, you know, I, I'm back in today. You know, I'm, I'm back in doing another double. So this is the video that you guys are gonna get. I appreciate you guys staying locked in with me, um, staying tapping in. You know, putting down the you know the comment section below, but you know, this is going to happen, and we already hit two all-time highs. One all-time high on all the other digital asset markets exchanges, where we're sitting at five zeros high, twenty-three hundreds, and again on Crypto.com, our all-time high was at four zeros, sitting at thirty-six. So think about that. Look at what's going on. 
we're not going to be able to, you know, we're not going to get these prices again. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I need more damn money. <laughs> I need to figure out, you know, I know all these other hustles, but it's like, dang, you know, it takes a little time, but I need to buy me some more. I need to. Because most of you guys who came into Doge Lawn last year and this year, you're seeing profits. I'm sorry. You're going to see profits. But us OG holders who've been holding since 2021, day one, yeah, we're still in the negatives in our other portfolio. Negatives, but they ain't scaring nothing. They ain't scaring nothing because we know we're going to blow past that. We're going to blow past that. So thank you guys for locking in with me. Don't forget to sub and subscribe. Let's get this party moving.